Okay, guys. Listen, Jaquan. I wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you. A one-on-one -on -one talk. My YouTube, my viewers, subscribers, watchers that are soon to come along, everything. If you know me, you know my channel, everything. I recently changed my name to Dreams in Motion. That is now the channel for my name. And I want you guys to understand why I've been quiet <laughs> so long. So, here's the down low on that. I've been quiet because the Mustang had another incident to where the V6 motor, the 3.8 liter V6 that I built, uh, it just gave on me, gave out. It had an oil leak that I didn't know about. It was in the front main seal. I didn't realize it was too late. And now the car has has endured severe rod knock, which is no longer possible to maintain. So, you need more. So, <clears throat> the reason I've been quiet is because, like I said, the motor is down, the car is down. Now, recently, I got a deal on an amazing GT motor for the car. 4.6 liter V8 with a 5 speed charge to it. Therefore, I'm going to do a build series on the Mustang, the transformation of the Mustang, and everything under the sun that I can to put on YouTube for you guys to see my build, the way I want to do things, the way I like to progress in the car community and as a channel as a whole. So, with that being said, right now, right here next to me is my 4.6 liter V8. I'm not going to say how I'm excited for it. I don't like putting numbers out there on the internet. I don't like that stuff. So, I'll say I got it for a steal. Let's say that. There go. The Mustang will be coming back soon. I still have the keys. Everything. I still have the car. Everything. I still have the automatic transmission. Everything. I am taking the initiative here and starting a YouTube channel with a build that I wanted to see done. My original intention was to build a 3.8 V6 and show people that a V6 can hang with V8s. But this is my second V6 that I've been through and the first one I abused, the second one I didn't abuse it. I just had not to. It was an oil leak in there and the car just couldn't handle I guess. So therefore I'm going to be building this three point I'm sorry, I'm sorry this four point six V eight with five speed manual transition swap. I'm going to be taking my absolute time with this build. I'm not cutting corners, I'm not cheating on parts, I'm not gonna rush to get it done. I want it to be the perfect build. Ergo, I'm gonna take my absolute time with this and I don't expect it to be a three month done thing, boom, step quick, no. I wanna take my time with it. If it starts snowing before the car is done, so be it. I want it to be a perfect build for me. I have four things I want to do with this car. I want to take it to Tuner Evolution. I want to take it to H2O. I want to take it to Spolcom in, in, Spolcom in New York. And I want to go on trips with this car. Four things. That's all in the car. And for it to be a solid, amazing, reliable daily that can get decent gains when I want to. Therefore, I'm looking for a tuner in Philadelphia, New Jersey, Philadelphia, anywhere within a four or five hour drive, I'll drive it. I'm looking for a reasonable tuner to tune the car to run on 89, right the pump gas, and premium, premium 91. So, if you know anybody, I'd be more than happy to, you know, Take down names, travel, talk on phone, whatever. 
I just really need this done. And this is not for some personal clout. This is for me. I see TJ Hunt in them. You see it right now. I see, T I see TJ Hunt. I've met Lionel Turk. I've met Dustin Williams. I've met tons of automotive people in my life. And I feel like I want to take my leap into the automotive car scene. And this is also for people who don't think they can do it. And they don't have the guts to hop into the car scene. Know nothing. I know nothing. I know my basic car knowledge. I know small amounts of everything. Small amounts. I know my engines, I know my bolts, I know my tools, I know some stuff. I am not a career technical mechanic out the womb who knows I know nothing. So I want to bring you along on my journey to help me build the car that I want to be. Now at first, like I said, since I know nothing, I will be taking the car to a shop to get the majority of the work done. I understand it's pulled to work in your own car. It's going to be on a channel, but I need the car to be assembled first and then I can tear it apart, modify it and tune it at my will. If I don't know anything, then I have nothing to go off of. So with that being said, I'm going to build the car how I want it to be. I'm going to take my time with the build. I'm not rushing the build. I'm not forcing anything. I'm not hurrying along. If it starts to snow before the build is done, it snows before the build is done. You gotta wait next summer to bring it out, or wait next summer to bring the car out. But what I will say is this. Just know, the car is coming. I'm gonna put all my time that I can, I'm not at work, into this car. I want this car to be my car built for me. And with that being said, all I want to welcome you to dreams in motion. Stay along for the ride, and I'll see you guys later on, episode one of the Mustang Bill.